It's a busy, freezing cold day inside the National Ice Core Lab in Denver, Colorado. We're gonna cut gas samples out of this core. Scientists from Maine to California here to cut pieces of precious Antarctic glacier ice to take back to their labs for study. We started the ice core project in 2005. With support from the National Science Foundation for a project called the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, or Waste Divide, lab manager Mark Twickler and a team of scientists, engineers, and support personnel traveled to the bottom of the world to drill out and bring back these ice cores. The goal of the project? To collect and study perfectly preserved records of the distant past. The unique things about polar glaciers is each year that it snows there, the snow never melts. So you get one year of snow on top of the next year of snow. It compresses, so everything that fell out of the atmosphere, dust, salt from the ocean, volcanic ash, is preserved in that ice core. This particular ice sheet is more than 70,000 years old. The team drilled down more than two miles into it to retrieve these cores, which were then flown to the U.S. and stored in a giant 40 below zero freezer here at the ice core lab. Uh, inside this freezer contains more than 10 miles of ice cores collected from around the world. Twickler says the ice cores layers are like tree rings, each layer representing a year of weather and snow. We can tell what the, what the temperatures were. We can tell how rough the oceans were around Antarctica. We can tell how dusty Australia was. Scientists are keen to study the bubbles trapped in the cores, each a tiny pocket of air frozen in time. We can measure a variety of gases that were in the atmosphere at the time the bubbles were formed. Other scientists want to know how ice sheets melt over time. We don't necessarily have a really good handle on how the ice sheet as a whole will respond in a case of changing climate. Twickler says this icy blast from the past is helping researchers better understand the mechanics of climate change. And that, in turn, will help them make better predictions as to what a changing climate may mean for our future. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.